there, you lovely bunch of chromosomes, and welcome to Space Marine Village, where today Zinch is taking on the Space Marines. Yes, that's right. He's having these fancy. He's trying to have a crack at them, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a bunch of renegades here. We've got some soul. Oh, I forgot what they're called. The soul chargers, crushers. There's something to do with soul gr soul grinder. That's the one. Oh my god. That's a bit of an unfortunate name in this day and age. But yes, we've also got Marauders in here, as well as some of Zeech's warriors. And they're going to be trying to take on this aspirant village here. However, it has been defended by jump pack Space Marines. As you can see here, already taking a good old leap through the air. A good old Dreadnought here, taking on some of these Soul Grinders, having a little bit of a roly-poly there. But already, the corpses of the Chaos here are starting to pile up as the Space Marines exact their vengeance upon them. Oh my god, we're already at 12,000 kills to nothing here. You can see the Space Marines having a good old jump about. <laughs> oh, look at him go. He just jumped back right into the wall. Here's another one spinning on the spot as he does so. These Soul Grinders, though, I really like the look of these. Look at the bad boys as they lurch back and just try to attack anything that's close to them. But yes, yeah, so far, it is a bit sporadic, the combat on the front line. Look at this over here. Space Marines have been cut off from the Brethren. And then, in comes the Assault Fire. Uh, the Dreadnought here in the background. We've got a couple of Assault Dreadnoughts also defending in here. You can see these water pop there as well. And we've also got a couple of uh, normal Space Marines with uh, just bolters also. Now, the enemy have been trying to push forward, but their corpses are just piling up here. There's no real flanking maneuver going on. The Space Marines have just stopped it dead over there. But this center line, where the Soul Grinders are, it is a very sporadic. That is until that Assault Fire comes in and just terminates a large group of the Chaos there. Still no losses for the Space Marines, miraculously. They are living up... Spirit name! Oh, I'm sorry, it's just... It's a fun sight to see Space Marines fly through the air like that. Because, obviously, we've still not got any flying units in this game. So these guys... Even though they are jump jet infantry, they can't actually use any jump jet abilities. It's just them getting thrown around by soul grinders. But it really does kind of make it look like they are using the jump jets. Just a little bit. You've got to use some imagination here as we break past the 92 thousand kills for the space marines and not a single kill here for the, cha uh, the chaos. Oh, Zinch, what were you thinking here? Throwing your forces against an aspirant village. Don't you know this is where they literally train them? Oh, we've lost a single Space Marine. I'm not quite sure where that has happened, but look at this. Oh, my God. The piles of bodies. You can just see where the sporadic combat has been. It has been all over the shop here, thanks to them being thrown about. But then they just get thrown into the middle of chaos like this, and they start just making body piles around them. Look at this guy here. Just in the middle of them, surrounded by marauders and renegades. No problem, Sonny Jim. <laughs> oh, I love this. This has been really, really all over the place. The Space Marines here are starting to take losses, though, slowly but surely. Now five Space Marines have been lost. Granted, they've killed almost 150,000 of the Chaos, with 130,000 of them still remaining here. I don't know. It, it, if these Space Marines on the outside fall here, the Assault Marines, it might be a little bit easier for Chaos to start pushing into the village, because the Bolters don't have anywhere near the same killing capability, unfortunately, here as our Assault Marines. Look at this, though. The trail of dead behind them as they've just pushed out here, completely collapsing any chance of the chaos, opening up a flank here. We have still got lots of soul grinders in the middle here. You can see that a few of our bolters are pushing up to the gatehouse now, getting some better shots off than before. But yeah, largely, our space marines have been dealing really well with this. 25 losses amongst them now. It was to be expected that some brothers would be lost against such large numbers. Realistically, the Space Marines never take on this many. They're always used in strike forces. It's very rare that you actually see the Space Marines, like, on the front lines anymore. I wonder why. Because, realistically, you don't want to lose them in some horrible meat grinder fest. That's why. They're always deployed on critical resources behind enemy lines, dealing damage to infrastructure or supply lines. That's the Space Marine way, but... Obviously, seeing them, <laughs> seeing them on a battlefield like this is a rare sight, but they will hold their own, even though they've lost 63. That's a catastrophic amount of troops to lose for the Space Marines. But yeah, like I said, they are taking on a massive horde here without any other support other than a few bolters and a bit of, a, you know, a few dreadnought assault rounds. 
So they have done marvellous here. Considering they normally have artillery, predator tanks, you know, God knows what else. Devastator marines, all sorts of crazy terminators. That's one thing, actually, that we should really get for the space marines, is make some terminators. Wonder if we can find some uh, Terminator models online. That'd be really good. Start doing some insane deep strikes. Because unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any custode models that we could uh, transfer over. Because I'd really like to get some custodes in this game. Because I think it'd be just funny to send them against like, you know, 10 million Tyranids or something like that. And just watch them annihilate every single one of them. Just three of them on a battlefield. But yeah, so far, chaos here on this field. It's really struggling, but they are starting bit by bit to take these Space Marines out. 121 of them have now been lost. There is 52,000 Chaos remaining. Maybe they'll be able to do it if they can keep isolating these Space Marines like this. Oh, God, I just can't believe how just all over the place this combat line has been. It's not normally this chaotic, but it's the Soul Grinders throwing things around like this. <laughs> and like I said, I like to imagine that it's uh, the actual jump jets. Just... <laughs> I'm sorry how he's skidding along the floor then. Oh, God. It reminded me of, like, someone, like, say, when they've shot themselves. That's it. It's that walk you do. It's like, oh, God, oh, God, I need to go to the toilet real quick. Look, look at that. As soon as he stops getting thrown about, he's instantly descended upon there. 147 Space Marines have now been lost here. Jesus. As that assault fire there from the assault gun just rips open. Assault grinder. And there goes the doorbell. I need to be right back a second. Right, where were we? Oh, that's it. The Space Marines now on the field. Still taking an absolute beating here. These Soul Grinders have just been throwing them all over the place. And realistically, it has hindered their defense significantly. Because they haven't been able to form a nice, neat defensive line. Which means each of them have been fighting for the life. Like, look at these here. These body piles here. And then you just see one dead Space Marine right next to it. So they are just being thrown all over the place and making these individual little piles. Which makes the battlefield look really crazy, actually. I kind of like the effect that it leaves on the, uh, the floor here. There's a lot of dead soul grinders as well now. The Space Marines coming up to 187 losses, but Chaos has only got 20,000 left. There's not many on this flank over here. The Space Marines have given them a hell of a licking. They've pushed back. There's a few Marauders over here. We've got a couple of soul grinders. <laughs> that walk. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. A soul grinder just threw a Dreadnought about. That's a little bit crazy. The Dreadnought not... <laughs> We back into that. Oh, that should not happen. That's because, basically, we don't have access to vehicles in this game yet. So we can't customize vehicles. So everything that's a vehicle in this game is actually treated as an infantryman. Now, that means they are susceptible uh, to physics, which means vehicles can be thrown about as if they were infantry units, which is why that happens. So as soon as the devs give us the ability to make actual vehicle modifications in the game, that won't happen anymore. Dreadnoughts won't be thrown about like that. Oh, but it's fantastic to see. It's still funny. <laughs> My God, that, look how far that actually sent him. If that was real life, can you imagine that Dreadnought barreling through? It just kills so many. You could literally boulder it. I've always wondered that. Why can't Dreadnoughts, like, turn into a ball and roll forward? It seems like a really effective thing that they could do. Like, just tuck in the legs and their arms and then roll forward in a ball and just crush things in front of them. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose it'd expose the back and then they've got the exhaust there and stuff like that. But, I don't know, I've always just thought that some sort of ball weapon, like, vehicle weapon, would be really effective in the Warhammer universe, when you look at the artwork and how big the battles are, it's just like, yeah, just crush everything. Just crush it all. <laughs> oh my, Chaos now, coming down to 2,000 here. There's only 150 Space Marines left on the battlefield now. But look at that. What a battlefield it is. I've never seen one like this before. It's just all over the place. But the Space Marines are going to be victorious here, saving the Aspirant Village from Zinch's little warpy invasion here. I don't know why he tried. I mean, I suppose, you know, if you kill off all the aspirants, they can't recruit any more troops, can they? But no. <laughs> His army lies in tatters. 
Perhaps he didn't see this future. <laughs> oh my, yeah, there's virtually nothing left now for the chaos at all. We've got a few soul grinders over this side here. And that's all that's holding out. But they are taking a salt fire as well. Oh, there is a few marauders over here. But yeah, definitely more soul grinders. What we're going to do is I'm just going to let it time lapse out and see what the actual final kill counter is. We'll be back in a second. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, oh boy, those last lot of soul grinders actually put up one hell of a fight there, taking the Space Marines down to 105 remaining troops. But I do think we can wrap this one up here, and there's only one way to cleanse the Aspirant Village here. As always, I do hope you've had a blast. I know I have. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Massive shout out to all you channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out this amazing metal print cyber doggo wall art. Wouldn't you love to have this guy hanging from your wall? With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.